Hey BBs, it's Plastic, and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? Hope we're all doing really fierce. In today's video, we have the old but new to me Mermaids, Mermaids, Winter Waves Gwen doll. Um, so a little bit of a backstory about this doll is that she retails for $40 USD around last year. This year it is July, early July, and I got this doll for $11 on Amazon. Um, Amazon usually runs, or and not just Amazon specifically, but there's a bunch of online retailers and, you know, just stores in general that kind of clear out of old stock for the new stock of, you know, the new quarter and everything. So that's what this is. And I'm so beyond excited about this doll because Mermaids, the Winter Waves line has always, always got me intrigued just because like they have really, really cool high detail outfits and everything. Um, and I'm super excited to have Gwen in my possession finally. Um, so again, I got this doll for $11 on Amazon, which I'm super excited to get. And um, I'll have a, a link in the description if you guys want to check her out because she's really, really fun. But without further ado and without the rambles, let's get into Miss Gwen because, again, I've been waiting for her for a minute. Um, the box is, again, Mermaids, Winter Waves. I did notice, though, from the box right now, I am missing her earrings. Mine did not come with her earrings. The one on the box has earrings, and I checked the reviews online, and they do have earrings. Mine just never came with them, so um i guess if that's not part of the review it's just not because i didn't, just didn't get them so i should probably contact mga to be honest to get replacements but um i don't know it's like a year old who knows anymore on the back of the box we have some pictures of miss gwen she looks gorgeous and stunning i'm so excited um and yeah the box is pretty much simple here's the barcode again she's been out for a long time but i think it's time to get her out of this box and let's see what she's about and out of the box this doll comes with a couple of fun accessories yeah she is too big for the um i guess video for right now i want to show off some of her accessories first before we get into the doll she has a little ice tray of fun accessories like some makeup we have a um, hot chocolate mug maybe a phone and i'll take a better look at this in just a minute i just want to show it to you guys um an iceberg thing because this is a little fun gimmick we also have this really really nice soft really soft like white little like fluffy jacket it is so cute this little ties everywhere y'all this packaging had so many ties and things to cut it was like actually kind of painful to unbox this stall but um let's just move with it it's so nice like it's super soft and i want to put this on like every brat stall to be honest like this is probably not going to stay on her it's probably going to go on my brats so fair warning this is probably not a mermaid's jacket anymore she did also come with a stand um, I love the mermaid stands. They're really, really fun and really, really campy. Like, they're honestly really cool. And there's a bunch of, like, little, like, waist clips for her. So if you, like, lose one. Um, but I think taking a look now at the doll as we move on up to um, see her, actually, instead of, you know, just having her kind of float around. This doll is really pretty. Out of the box, her hair is kind of a mess. Um, like, I maybe it was just, like, mine. I don't know. Um, but her hair is kind of fun. So we have this little, like, two like strands um from like the middle part that just kind of come out and like they're like wrapped around with like tinsel it's okay all of her hair is falling out um it's really really cool how they did this like look at that like that was like intentionally done it kind of is really really fierce it's so nice um and then the rest of her hairstyle is just like a bunch of twists um they're kind of a little bit messy just from the box hair but that's kind of expected under this, these twists, so there's not a lot of gel in it. Super, super, super nice, soft, high quality nylon. Um, and her rooting seems to be pretty nice. So if you want to restyle her, she, have, she does have these two little French braids. Um, so if anyone in the future is trying to recreate this style. Oh, wait, actually, just one big one. And it goes all the way around. I'll probably need that if I want to wash her hair because I'm probably going to wash her hair, to be honest. I, again, I don't like love this style, and I'd rather it just kind of be in the like. I'd rather like the two like this be out, and like this be all out to play with. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's just kind of like messy a little bit. But I maybe I want to try to redo the twist because I, I think I can redo the twist a little bit. Um, now on to the doll's face. The mermaid dolls have always had gorgeous faces. Um, to be honest, when I first saw the mermaid dolls, I thought they were a little bit uncanny. But after growing to love them, they're so funny. like she did have her eyes switch from brown to blue from prototype to final release. But besides that, um, I think she's really, really fun. I love the big, bright lip. The, like, more natural kind of eyeshadow was gorgeous. And I love, like, the sparkles on her face. Like, it's, like, body glimmer. Um, it's really, really pretty. Um, again, she doesn't have her earrings, so um, there's nothing to really talk about there, I guess. But we do have a fun little necklace. It's kind of very, like, ice mama. Um, I love, like, the ice kind of thing. It's kind of getting frozen. But it's, like, cool. 
Um, we also have some really fun gloves. This is my favorite thing about this outfit already, are these high quality and fierce gloves. They're like a white mesh, so you can kind of see through them, but they also have this really cool, like, furry. It's like from the same, like, fur as, like, the jacket. Um, and it, like, kind of, like, it's, like, like the cups, I guess, of it. Um, and they're really, really nice. And, again, I want to see this in, like, a brat doll, to be honest. I feel like her outfit is so, like, chic and gorgeous. Um, under the, the gloves, you can kind of see she has, like, painted red nails. And I wonder how easy this is going to be just to take it off and on. Um, I'm sure it's pretty easy to get back on. But, like, you can see, like, the gold reflex of glitter on her body. And it's super nice. It's so fun. It's super, like, shiny and gorgeous. She kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Rainbow High Wave 1, how they have a lot of glitter on their face. But besides the gloves, she also has this really gorgeous, like, matching kind of dress, I think. It's just, like, the first dress from Hermes. I don't know, but it's really pretty. It's a kind of like an iridescent -y purple, blue, green moment. It's so pretty. It's like an overlayer of like a plastic, um, and it's furry again all around. Isn't that so fun? I think there's a tie in here. Yeah, there's a tie in here. I'll cut it for y'all um, because I don't know if I want that. Yeah. Be careful with that. Probably should look at it better than I did. But um, so yeah, so it'll just flare out. You could see part of her tail. Oh, it's such a pretty silhouette, though. Like, isn't that silhouette gorgeous? And also, you can see a better look at her tail. Oh, man, there's so much glitter on her belly button. That's so funny. I love it. This is my favorite tail design, I think, so far. Maybe not my favorite, but it's super pretty. It's super, like, thin. And again, we have the snow globe gimmick for the Winter Waves dolls. I love, like, the pretty stars in her. They're so fun. And the fin is really cool. You probably put, like, chips in here. I don't know, like, dip. Look, look at that glitter, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> She's fabulous. I love the rainbow glitter. She said, be who you are. It's pride mama. Let me put her though in her second jacket and get out some of the accessories and I'll be back with you guys in just Don't minute. theorize. Accessorize. So a couple fun accessories that Miss Gwen comes with is this cute little purse. It is pink furry with a little, um, oh my God, it's like a little bow on it and it's pearl plastic chains. It did kind of get messed up in packaging, which I wish they didn't do it like that. But I bet like a boil wash would like be perfect and it is fluffy on both sides. I love that accessory for her. Um, we also have some fun other things. We have these little glasses, uh, blue with some little like uh, white roses, I guess. They fit on her super style in, I guess. We'll take a better look at that in just a minute. Um, we do also have this little like teacup kind of thing, baby pink with some glitter in it. Um, really, really fun. You know, she'll hold that. We have the same mascara that all the Winter Waves dolls have come with so far. Really, really nice. I love that accessory as well. We have, I think, a lipstick. Oh, yeah, it's a, a red lipstick that matches her color perfectly. So she could put it on herself. Isn't that so fun? Um, we also have her shell phone. Um, she's texting Nira, and they are talking about something. I can't read that. Uh, look at the little shell phone, though. Like, Laguna kind of got gagged a bit. I don't know. Uh, lip gloss, also her color. I love the attention to detail with that. I think it's my favorite thing ever. And the nail polish also matches her thing. I love those accessories like that. I think it brings a lot of personality into the dolls. It brings a lot of world play. Like, you're telling me they really had the time in the moment to color match it. Like, that's cutesy patootsy. I love it so bad. Um, look at this gorgeous fur, though. Like, look at how gorgiana that is. Like, she, it's not lined, but I don't care that it's not lined, to be honest. I love how, sorry, the accessories are just in my hand. They're going to, like, bother me. Now they're rolling all over the table. Um, <laughs> they're just going to, we, the nail polish just fell. Um, you can take a look at these gorgeous glasses, though. Like, they're really, really pretty on her. They fit perfectly. And I just love this jacket. Like, it's full on the moment. Like, it's all the way fur. It's such a nice quality of fur. MJ always has that gorgeous fur textile, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word or not. But I love the texture of this fur. It's always so soft. I've never, ever had, knock on wood, though, a fur from MGA that's just been gross and gross and, you know, just doesn't feel right. This feels perfect, and I cannot wait to play the play around with this on my brat dolls. Actually, let me, let me bring over our brat doll to see how it fits. We can also take a look at how near lo or Gwen. Oh my God, Gwen looks without like the little like gloves and jacket. Like the little dress itself is so cute on her. Like it looks really fun. But we do have the jacket. I brought over Miss Yasmin, and it is a little bit big for brats. I'm gonna be honest, but I think it works fine. Like it's not like too big where I, like I'm bothered by it. To be honest, it is kind of shedding a little bit just because it's new and fur usually sheds. But it fits the arms really nicely. It just kind of doesn't fit, like, here perfectly. But she's also kind of wearing, like, a weird, like, dress shirt thing. It's, like, very, like, of the time. So I kind of, like, maybe it just, like, doesn't look right with the shirt. Um, If I, like, take it away. If I, like, that's, like, that's more, like, 
yeah, this honestly works for Bratz, to be honest. It also would definitely work for Monster High. You could probably even squeeze, like, Rainbow High into it. It would definitely fit LOL OMG if you're more of those collectors. But I think if you're a Restyle girl, like, this is definitely the moment. We also have, I brought over the glove. I put it on one of the articulated Bratz bodies. This is Miss Chloe rocking the 2018 body. And the hand thing fits her really nice. It is a little bit big, to be honest. But um, if you want this doll for $11 and you want her to, like, rock around with, like, the... um just like the quality clothing pieces like they fit pretty nicely again the brat's hand is a little bit smaller than mermaid's but it definitely works like from like a side glance or like a shelf view if you just want to restyle and use these gloves on a brat stall perfect i love fabric gloves and i have not seen fabric gloves like this in play like i guess is this playline collector i don't know i don't think i've had like gloves like this in a long ever i don't think i've ever had gloves like this so it's just really really fun to kind of see them like be a thing maybe and maybe i'm like a liar maybe i've had these before with like something similar but um off the top of my brain i don't think i've ever had um a, like a fabric glove like this like i love it so bad it's so gorgeous like i'm so gagged like really really truly gagged um it's crazy i don't know so okay final thoughts getting into miss nira or i mean it's gwen it's gwen i already have nira i got nira like months and months ago okay gwen gwen is fun gwen is cutesy patootsie I think for again, eleven what eleven dollars I paid for this doll. If you're watching this as of right now, and she's on that really really fun and fierce sale, I would recommend her. Even if you don't like love the mermaids dolls, steal her clothes, steal her accessories, use them for your brat dolls, use them for Monster High, use them for LOL OMG and whatever that team may be. Because I know a lot of people don't love the mermaids dolls, but I think the accessories themselves are definitely worth eleven dollars. But if you're a mermaids fan. The, the whole doll is worth $11. Like, she was truly that girl. Um, I think the snow globe tail is crazy and fierce. The long, the long, soft, silky nylon hair is amazing. The face up on this doll is amazing. My only complaint about this doll is I didn't get her earrings, which isn't even, like, the fault of anyone. It's just, like, quality control was probably bad that day. Who knows? And um, the earrings are kind of ugly anyway, so it's fine. I'm probably just going to be bitter about it. But um, honestly, again, for $11, I can't be that mad um i'm just excited about her like i love the mermaids collection and i've had so much fun over the past like what day getting the rest of the mermaids dolls i need um i'm hoping to get harmonique in the mail soon i think she's ordered i did order her um but yeah again i love the mermaids dolls i'm sad to kind of see them go but i'm happy that i got at least got the winter waves line again i think it's fantastic if y'all have not gotten it check the link below it'll be affiliated but y'all can get your hands on this really really fun and fierce bb i think again I love her. I don't know. I again, I also just love the mermaids dolls. I love mermaids a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. In the comments below, though, please let me know your thoughts and feelings about Miss Gwen. I got her name right finally. Um, I want to know also your thoughts and feelings about the Winter Waves line and mermaids overall. If you have any of them, if you have her, if you're planning on getting her, let me know all that tea and more. I'm truly dying to know. But yeah, thank you guys all so 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 much for watching today's video. Today it was so much fun, and I can't wait to catch all though in the next one. I love you all so much. See you soon. Bye. Mwah. Bye, everyone. Love you. See you soon. Bye.